everybody. The day's winding down. We're almost done with Warrior Expo 2013. Um, but we're here at ITTS with Carrie. Hey, Carrie, how you doing? Pretty good. How you doing good. today? So we had to come on site for this. It's a big, huge vehicle. Um, you can transport it. It's a training center, basically, that you can bring anywhere you want to go. Explain who, who would use this and, and what the application's for. Well, what we have here is that we have a uh, licensed trailer, so it meets all the DOT specs. Um, it's really used for anybody that's doing from point of impact to CASVAC training for TAC Med, TCCC. Um, it could be doubled as a crash site all the way as a CASVAC platform for treating your patients in the back. Um, and this is modeled after? The H60 Blackhawk. Yeah, okay. um, from the back end with uh, the width from the bottom height to mid height to the top, we're right in there within a half inch of the specs. And then the height of the cabin and the length of the cabin is uh, exactly what a Blackhawk dimensions are. So it gives you real life scenario. Real um, life scenario gets you proper load out of your equipment. We have all the tie down parts just like a hat, uh, Blackhawk so you get that muscle memory of where to hook and where to unhook. And then some of the other features on it is, is it, you can hook it up to the computer and you can run it all from a little remote location and um, it has fans, lights, smoke, gunfire, all types of. Yeah, we have all the bells and whistles in this one right here. We have white and blue lights. We have uh, two IP cameras, so you can film the guys working on the patients. And then and they see we them. can review later. You can review them and record, um, either by PC or by tablet. Okay. And then uh, the tablets also control the comm mannequin, so it's all integrated with the ITTS products from machine gun fire to mannequin to helicopter. Um, it ties together off of one software, one tablet, running all the devices. And the Tom mannequin you guys developed for teachers with C training, it's a real life mannequin that you can cut on, repair, patch, whatever you need to do. Yeah, it's a, the tactical operation medical mannequin. Um, it's built off of a steel frame, so it's made to be in that tactical environment. It's made to be dragged, carried out in the rain. Um, really ruggedized mannequin to give you the TCCC skills. Same, same weight as a normal man or a human? Uh, he's 150 pounds, a little, lighter, a little lighter, but when you load him out, he can handle 200 pounds of gear strapped on him, and uh, he just has a lot of versatile wound patterns and different mechanisms. Yeah, we did a video on that not too long ago. It's yeah. a pretty complicated system there. It's cool. <laughs> Very cool. So, um, are there any other features you want to talk about, explain to the audience? Uh, yeah, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of hitting the lights and showing you what it does when okay. it's operational. All right. Uh, over here we have our ITTS software package. Uh, all you do is go on here, it's real simple to use. You right click on it, you get fans in the back. You have left and right fans. You also yeah, you can feel that happen. Oh. So that simulates being in the air. Yeah, that simulate the, the noise, the flight, the noise, and everything coming in there. You're gonna hear it start rotating up right now. We got some rotors kicking in, some APUs to give you that dimension of not being able to hear. Right. Yeah. Wow. Turn off that noise. We got a beacon up top, so if you want to use it as a crash site at a drop zone, all you gotta do is turn on the beacon, and then they can find it. And they can find it. We also have some smoke inside, but inside the building, we're not allowed to use it. But uh, you can fill up the cabin with smoke, or you can use it as a crash site, like a helo going down and turn on the smoke with the team in the back. And this and is new, axle. this is brand new. You're just releasing it here at the show. Yeah, we, we really just released it this April, and okay. this is the first, uh, second trade show it's been at. Oh, okay. But this is the first time that we really got it ready for reproducing manufacturing. Nice, so it has all the front cockpit doors. It's ready to go. All right, well, hey, thanks a bunch for showing us Thank this. Thank you.